Hello everyone, this is Tom Morley from T3D with another cool effect using GIMP in the GMIC plugin. It will be a space nebula scene, pretty much like you've seen everywhere else, but I'm going to show you how to make it from scratch using just GIMP in the GMIC plugin. So let's get started. Fire up GIMP, we'll create a new image. I'm going to use it for a desktop background, so mine will be 1920 by 1080. Click OK. Now we need this to be filled in with black, so I'll hit the paint bucket, fill it in with black. And we'll go into the filter section, GMIC, and the degradations area. What we want is the rain and snow section, which is a pretty cool effect. I like the rain and the snow effect. It works really good on pictures, but we're not going to use it for that. We're going to use this to generate our star background so we don't need any speed so we'll change the speed to zero our density is going to be down to um, 25 percent our radius will be at 1.5 the gamma we'll keep at the default setting of 1 and the opacity will change that to 0.5 and click OK all right, so that lays down the first layer of stars, but it's not quite dense enough, so we want to repeat that GMIC filter. You'll see that it's filling in more stars here, and we'll repeat that one more time. I found three for the type of look I'm going for. Uh, three iterations of the filter will work quite nicely. So now that you've got that, you need to flatten out all these layers that you've created. So in the layer section, we need to flatten those all out. So click on Image and Flatten Image, and you'll see that uh, it flattens all those layers into one. And that's exactly what we want to do. Now we need to, I guess, massage these stars a little bit. Stars are not just uh, white and varying uh, degrees of of uh, brightness we need to add some colors to them as well so let's go into the GMIC section and we'll click on the artistic section and we are looking for our photo illustration so we'll click on photo illustration and we'll leave everything at the default settings except for special effects we're going to change that to a bloom and then we're going to click OK once that filter is applied we want to go back into the GMIC filter and go to the degradation section again and we want to add some color to the stars so we're going to click on the chromatic abrasions here and the primary colors of red and green are fine we just need to change the X and Y shift values so we'll change that to 0 0.5 change the Y to 0 0.5 and the secondary green color we're going to change that to a negative 0 0.5 on both the X and Y shift and what that's going to do is that will add some uh, color to the the stars themselves so we'll click OK and apply that now these changes are very subtle but uh, they look very cool in the final version of the stars so let's go into the GMIC plugin one more time and we need to make these stars kind of pop out and it's easy to do by going into the details section and clicking on freaky details and click OK and this is where your star background pops out so there you go that's the finished version of the stars themselves now we need to add the the nebula so over in your layers section here right click and add a new layer make sure it's the same size and that transparency is selected and click OK We're going to change the mode to screen so then when it mixes it uses a screen mode to mix we'll go into the filters GMIC and we need to go to the patterns area 
and there's a clouds section right there, clouds. And we're going to change the density up to about mm, anywhere in the 70% is fine. Smoothness somewhere in, in the 30% range. This is where you can mess with the density and smoothness settings and uh, and get it to your liking. But you click OK and you'll see it adds these uh, cloud-like layer to your to your picture. Now we don't want them to be white of course so we want to click in colors and colorize it and you'll see that automatically picks the light blue hue. We're going to change that to a little bit darker here and the lightness and saturation you can use to kind of um, dictate how much how dense your clouds are. So if you change the lightness you can uh, lower the density of your clouds or your nebulas in your space scene. So um, I usually just bring the brightness or the uh, lightness down until it looks about where I want it, which is right there. And I click OK. Now most of the time you can you may be able to get away with only one layer of your nebula, but I always like to have at least two layers. So right click here, create a new layer. Again, make sure that it's got transparency selected. Change it from normal to screen and go into your filter and let's create some more of the clouds here. Should already be on clouds but let's change the density down a little bit to somewhere in 50 percent range and change your smoothness just a little. Click OK and you'll see it'll add a secondary layer for you to be able to go up to the colors area, colorize it, and you can pick a, maybe a little bit different color or a lighter color increase your saturation maybe and, and change your lightness down a little bit and what that does is kind of adds a secondary layer to your nebula in your space scene and click OK. Now in this particular case I think the the clouds are a little too dense I'd like to see more of the stars and you can also change that later by going over to your layers and uh, I'm on the top layer now and clicking on the opacity and you can change the opa opacity from 0 to 100 percent to get the uh, get the density that you're looking for for that particular layer. The same thing for th this secondary layer here. I'm going to look at uh, that and adjust that until it's about where I want it. And that looks pretty good. So now that we have the the look that we were going for and we just want to make sure that we merge it all down before we export it. So click on image and flatten your image so that it's ready to export as a JPEG. And that's it. Uh, nice easy way for you to create a space with a nebula scene in it uh, using GIMP and the GMIC plugin. Well I hope you learned something and if you like my videos don't forget to click the like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe because you won't want to miss any of the extra effects that are that are coming down the line okay thank you and we'll see you in the next one